So, okay. We have a different person working the machine. She just stopped. And yeah, you can only buy fireworks from the 2092 there. 31. It is an drin. Yeah. One euro twenty-five. Yeah, in the Communist Republic of Germany, you only can buy fireworks three days before Christmas. No other time of year. It's some professional fireworks services are allowed to have fireworks, but layman persons only can buy the approved fireworks in those three days. But I think. I'm almost certain you won't buy any this year. I'm quite sure. Like, I liked it quite a lot when I was younger, but um, even back then it was controversial. Yeah. I'm eating the bottles here. The reflection. Look, I said. So, once again at the second home besides home, the IKEA. That's, uh, I'm not quite sure that one eleva elevator is broken and I haven't seen it that full since forever. But um, just a question if you support the next by the elevator, yeah. people can't get out because there's like, like uh, a file toot. Uh, to the house, like like nobody can leave because nobody can get his uh, get stuff into the elevator. I think like like last we have we have been here last week as well. So yeah, yeah. Oh, last week this week oh, this week already. So, so like uh, second time already in three days. <laughs> yeah, we're really spending too much time at IKEA. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Like I'm, I'm working on calls and got my trusty notebook with me. So I forgot in the car and went to get this. Leaving stuff like that open around the car is really bad. Look at that. We have almost summertime temperatures 14.5 degrees. Yeah. It's like a very cold summer day. I'm almost sweating because I dressed for. The usual temperatures, which are like around six degrees at this time of year, but yeah, better that way around than any other.
This is very fascinating here with the mirror house around the corner. Yeah. Very nice photo motor, meat motif. Yeah. Yeah, once again in Bad Soden, just like the old salt producing central city of the, or like the, they had a salt monopoly in in the Hessen Castle, so Hessen Castle, so they yeah, produced all the salt for everything, and yeah, so it was quite expensive and valuable back in the day. Same, so, particularly rich city, and then of course, and the like more modern salt production came around, and cheaper, mostly. Um, they probably did quite a lot of money with the uh, health industry, with producing or having like uh, or the it was observed that when you work around the salt, that that's usually quite good for yeah you know, like all kinds of pulmonary diseases, and so they usually the or many of those. Uh, the cities which have the which have either the Kur or Bad uh, extension in their name. Um, that's usually a hint that that's, uh, this is a place where people go for healing and for resting and yeah, getting healthy and yeah, like like I think it's often overlooked, but but I discovered that when. Uh, we're reading Anna Karenina from Leo Toy Story, and there's like a chap chapter where they go to Germany for for a health retreat or to the German states as they were back then. So, like, yeah, very different thing than what you think of Germany like today or the 150 years afterwards. So. And yeah, like in the Time before the German Reich, that was certainly an important point. That like the European nob nobility came to the German places like Bad Ems and yeah, came there to to um, get healthy, stay healthy, meet themselves. So. Yeah, interesting side note. But yeah, I think I. I've given the speech like a hundred times already. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, beautiful city, and and like 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 most places which are which rely were very reliant on the the whole health thing, and I think that's like like a major failure in the German health system that they. They went for like uh, more efficiency and more market economic drive, and they um, they more or less ditched the whole preventive health, health uh, thing. So they like they didn't give a ray. Like 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 when my I remember when I was a child, my my grandfather, for example, he would like go to the cour like two weeks every year or something. That was quite normal. Like, I go to a place like here to retreat, relax, re energize yourself, and then go back. And like, like in the early 90s, they, they canceled that whole thing more or less, mostly. So, many places like here actually had a huge economic downturn afterwards and a huge loss in importance and yeah, job loss and such. And I think, like, like, um. Like for, for stuff like this, this is like uh, in a, a gray area, medically speaking. But I think for like, I, li I think like just the, the psychological effect of having like a vacation of that kind, uh, it's probably quite high end. That's quite quite a big failing that they they uh, stopped the spending in that area, especially to to get like. Uh, like uh, stuff like which I didn't realize that like uh, 
Our health system was not so far away from the Japanese one. Like, uh, that's something like, like where you can't operate hospitals for profit and such. Which is quite, quite a good thing, I think. Like, uh, yeah, we have the huge problems with uh, health care and uh, elderly care now, nowadays. It mostly stems home from those ideas that we, we need to make it profitable and it's stuff which you cannot do ethically and profitable at the same time. Or it's very hard at least. And that's a struggle many, many um, modern Western states have at the moment. Yeah. And like, like, yeah, the, the whole preventative cutting the back on the bridge to felt that um, suddenly didn't help as well. It's many years since we went to that castle. I really wonder why there's this one misfit in the group. Should you go there?